Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the another form of poetry that is sonnet. After this class, you will be able to define sonnet, discuss the development of sonnet as a literary form, and describe the structure of Petrarchan sonnet, Shakespearean sonnet, and Spenserian sonnet. A sonnet is defined as fixed form verse which consists of 14 lines and these are iambic pentameter lines linked by an intricate rhyming scheme. The term sonnet is derived from the Italian word sonetto which means a little sound. It is considered that sonnet was a short poem recited in accompaniment with the lute or mandolin. Its origin is uncertain. Some scholars said that it was originated from Sicily and Provence in Italy. William Sharp holds the view that it was sung by Sicilian peasants that fleeting bar of verbal melody which in its narrow compass of two lines presents one fact of nature and one metaphorically allusion based thereon. The earliest sonnets of definitely recognizable form were written by the great Italian poet Dante and Petrar in the later half of the 13th century. The first English sonnets appeared in Totel's miscellany of songs and sonnets that was a collection of lyrics and sonnets written by various known and unknown poets of the 16th century. The two well-known poets who contributed their sonnets to this miscellany of songs and sonnets were Sir Thomas Wyatt and Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey. There are two principal types of sonnets. First is the Italian sonnet and second is the English sonnet. From its brilliant use by Petrarch, the Italian sonnet is often known as the Petrarchan sonnet. Sometimes it is called the classical sonnet as being the model which other countries followed later. The Petrarchan sonnets are also called Miltonic sonnets because Milton wrote his 24 sonnets according to Petrarchan rhyme scheme. It is a short form of 14 lines expressing one single thought or feeling. It consists of two main parts. The first eight lines form the octave having the rhyme scheme A B B A A B B A. The last six lines form the sestet, which may have any one of the following rhyme scheme C D E C D E or C D C C D C or C D C D E E. The sonnet was introduced into England in the first half of the 16th century by Sir Thomas Fjord and Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, who were two English politicians. They adopted a rhyme scheme that was different from the Italian sonnet. They composed their sonnets in three quatrains in alternate rhyme followed by a concluding couplet. A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F. GG. This form was so splendidly used by Shakespeare. That's why it is known as the Shakespearean sonnet. Edmund Spencer retained the Shakespearean pattern with a little modification in it. The first three quatrain in the Shakespearean sonnet had no internal connecting rhyme. Spencer interconnected them by this rhyme scheme. A B a B B C B C C D C D E E
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टूडेज क्लास थैंक यू